Hello everybody! And I am so excited today, only because today is the 27th of June. Okay, hang on, my head's been cut off. Okay, um, just my hair was being cut off. Ah, oh, we can't have that. See, we can't have this voluptuous, uh, awesome, you know, ratty hair being cut out of the scene. Anyway, sorry, that's <laughs> this is not about my hair. Even though I love it to be about my hair, I wish I had money so I could do my hair. Um, I'm actually here today to do, well, it's still June, it's June 27th, and today, this morning, I got my lip factory. It's my lip factory. I'm so excited that I got my lip factory for June. Yay! So, like normal, it comes with a dress. I, and I hide my dress. I haven't opened it up. All the sticky tape is still on it. You can see this. I can't open it at all. So, I am going to use a knifey knife. Ooh, shapey knife. Okay, I'm going to use a knife. Then try to open it up. Uh. 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 Oh, is it open? Do I still need to cut some more off? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yes. I've got to put lots of sticky tape on this time. That's a good thing. Because it does come from overseas. While I open this up, I'll talk to you about something exciting. Um, I actually, I ordered a uh, uh, I ordered the Lorac Pro. Hang on. I ordered the Lorac Pro 2. Wait, what is it? Okay, now I understand. Yeah, I bought the Lorac Pro 2. Um, oh sorry, no, no, I bought the Lorac Pro 1, um, first palette a few, uh, like a week ago, um, from online, and I'm so excited that it's coming through, and, um, but, uh, there's one thing I want to do, I've tried to find it online, I can't find, I can't find online anywhere the, for Australia, the Lorac Pro 2, so if anyone knows where the Lorac Pro 2 is, please let me know, and there you go, right on, underneath, Email me, whatever. So, I've opened this up. I've opened it up this way because they've actually put a lot of sticky tape around it. So, this is the easiest way for me to open it up. Oh. Let's see. Is there anywhere else I can open this from? It's a bit weird. Normally, normally it lifts up. Okay, looks like this month. I have to oh, wait. There's some more. Ugh. Hey, this is a weird packaging. This isn't the normal, just flippy, flippy one. No, this is a non normal lip factory box. That's why I'm having so much trouble opening it up. Well, there you go. This time it comes in this kind of box. It's not a flippy box. It's a that box. So let's take it out of the box. Ah! I drop. I'm dropping things. I don't like this box, Violet Box! Ah! Maybe I've just opened it wrong. But I've actually um, dropped something on the floor. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry for that. Okay, so. I've got my Lip Factory in June! Finally! Lip Factory, June 2014. And it says on the back, next month is our anniversary! Dun dun dun! So we'll see how that works. Um, again, just to prove I haven't opened it up, um, it's got the lippy thing on it! So, lots of worms. There's got lots of worms coming out of this package. So let's just put some on my head. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Beautiful hair stuff. I do, I do want to have my purple hair back. Um, but I don't have money for a hairdresser, but anyway, that's a different thing. So, the first thing that I got out in this box, and I know everyone's complaining about it, but please stop complaining. It's not the beauty box's fault that, um, people, um, come up to them and say, hey, we've got this X amount of products to give out, can we put it in your box? Mostly everyone's going to say yes, um... So please don't get angry with them for this particular one. I know lots of people are angry that um, most boxes or all boxes have now supplied us with Model Co. products, but it's not actually 
um, like Lip Factory's fault or anything. It's more Model Co. themselves. They're the ones who are heavily, heavily advertising, uh, advertising themselves. So anyway, I got the model, model, saying that I got the Model Co. lip gloss. I haven't gotten a lip gloss yet from them, so that's alright. It's a really nice pink. Um, it's cost $16 in America. Um, and the really cool thing about it is on the other side, try not to blind you, it has a mirror as well. I really like that. So let's open it up. Let's open it up. Let's open it up. So, it has that. It smells really nice, actually. Let's see. Seeing I have no makeup on because I've actually just come home from work. Let me put on the lip. But, oh, oh, wait. I was like, I don't have a mirror. How am I going to do this? It's okay. They provided a mirror. So let's put it on my lips and see how this goes. Hmm. No, it's okay. It's very sheer. It's a very sheer. So I don't see any pink on on that whatsoever. Can anyone see it? Her, uh, can anyone see any difference to my face, to my lips? Kissy, kissy, kissy. I don't know. All I can see is a little bit of. Well, I don't know. All I can, uh, to me right now, all I can see is it being, what do you call it? Glossy. So lip, duh. It's got a lip gloss. It's very. Sh um, it doesn't have much pigment. Doesn't have much pigment. Okay, let's see how this goes while I continue the um, 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 unboxing. So it's not Lip Factory's fault, but I'm just not impressed with Modico. So I see how that see how that goes. Uh, the next thing I see, which actually kind of interests me, is oh, it's a lip pencil. It says number twenty nine on it. I really like this packaging. It's all packaged up. It says Lime Maker Grapeseed Age Protecting Lip Pencil. So let's have a look. So 29, 29 Cosmetic Lime Maker Lip Pencil. It's a uh, retail, uh, uh, USD $23. It says this long lasting antioxidant enriched lip pencil is just chock full of amazing ingredients like grapeseed extract, which nourishes and protects the lips from environment, environmental pollutants and the harmful effects of free radicals. Outline your lips for a crisp edge or sheer out the color for an all over light lip shade that will last and last even though the, um, through the hottest of summers. So, my one's called Woody Cab. Woody Cab. LPO2. So let's open it up. Oh, I like the presentation to it. Um, though I don't think I'd ever use, I don't know, I, I have used black before, so I might use this with a really dark red, but it's a brown colour. Well, so far, that's what I can see. A dark brown kind of colour. Let's try opening it. Yeah. So I'll just put it on. Oh no, it's not a red colour. I mean brown colour. It's a purpley. Um, it's a purpley brown. I like it. Look at that. That's it. Because I like it so much. Mm, wiping that lip gloss away. Let's put some on. Let's put it on my lips. Hey, you like this? This is really nice.
that's really nice. That I like. That's really, really nice. I don't know what colour to name it, but I really, really like it. It goes with it goes with my brown, brown, wormy, brown coloured with a bit of purple hair. I actually really like it. It's really nice. I really like that. I people, I think oh I'm I'm really impressed with this one. I like the packaging. Um so far I like the colour to it. It's really, really nice. I like it. Goosey, goosey, goosey. The problem is now I look a little bit pale, but okay. Alright, so that was number two. I still got another three products to go. So the next product, which I'm actually surprised that... Um, I've, I've heard a lot of people say that custom doesn't let nail polishes go through. Um, so I'm really surprised that this has come through the mail again. And again, unfortunately, I can't use these ones, even clear nail polishes for work, they'll know straight away, uh, because of um, safety, um, hygiene reasons. So this is a um, Palladio Nail Strengthener, it's worth $6, before your favourite shade of polish, lay down the nail strengthener to help repair those brittle nails that split, crack and peel. Actually, wait. It doesn't tell me which one this one is. So you either get a sunscreen or you get a um so you either get a nail sunscreen or you get a nail strengthener. But mine doesn't actually say what it is. What the heck? How am I meant to know if this see like there's no on the on on the card it shows something that actually has a name on it but with mine it doesn't have anything on it it doesn't have a plasticky thing they've got that the ingredients and a barcode but it doesn't have the that is so weird what does it smell like it smells like a nail polish to me doesn't smell any different than normal so um it came in this little packaging so just me I like I do like how they put it in there so it doesn't break or anything. Nope. I thought maybe there'd be a sticker on there or something. Nope. Okay, fine then. Let's put that aside. Um okay, so the next thing everyone's been complaining about oh I can understand why as well. Um we got another model co product in our box. I'm not opening this one up. Um, it's an eye pencil. I defined in pencil for $18. So I'll see what happens with this. But yeah, it has a sharpener on it as well. Um, I'm not too sure about that. So this might end up going in I want to um, give to someone or I might give it to my friend's daughter or I might... I don't know. Um, I don't think you can ever have too many black pencils um, because, or, you know, eyeshadow pencils and stuff because, like, recently, um, the, uh, one of my um, videos, I actually put um, a purple lip lip stain on my lips and then um, as the um, um, lip liner, I actually used uh, Marinesse liquid eyeliner in black. Um, <laughs> so I'm really kind of like that. So I don't think you can ever have too many black eye pencils. So, for emergencies and stuff, you know, like, because you wouldn't be, like, for example, I know I won't be attached to this, so I'll just throw this into my bag or or whatever. Just throw it into the bag. I'm, again, uh, sorry, by the way, I'm just realizing how bad the sun is. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I could put this in my bag and don't worry about it, you know, chipping or breaking or being lost because it's just a cheaper. Does that make sense, everyone? Whilst my really expensive ones or my really good ones, I will never do that. I'll leave them in my drawer. So that could just go into a handbag, you know, throw it in there. And if I go in an emergency, like after work, all of a sudden I get invited to a party, then I can just bob so your uncle quickly put some black eyeliner on. Why not? Uh, the next thing is I've got Be Fine Food Skin Care Lip Serum. Lip Serum. Um, 
It is a full product. I thought it was it wasn't, but it looks like it's a full product. No wait. Yeah, it's a full product. It actually costs ten dollars. Um and sometimes we don't want to have wet, um heavy products on our lips when the heat is on. So you plump up your lips and the skin encircling them as you slick on shine with all this all natural serum created from chamomile and beetroot extract, which together supports collagen and provide healing oxidants to your summer parched lips. It doesn't really have a smell to it that I can smell. I'm not really that interested in that, but hey. That's because it's winter as well. I'm pretty sure if it was summer, I'd be like, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Ooh, I got more worms. 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 Oh, look, I got a nice little crown of worms on my head. And then I've got one last thing, and it's Girl Talk Beauty. And it is a, it's called Star Sh Shadow. And let's open it up. So the Girl Talk Eyeshadow is worth $19. The packaging is really oh I like look at that look at the back I, I, I you can't really see that but it's a pinky oh hang on there you go you can kind of see that can you see how it's a pinky color that's really nice I like that but there you go and this is a uh, star shadow penny my color is penny um so this is a very oh that's really nice. That's a really nice dark brown. It actually goes with the lip liner I have. You know what? Let me quickly put some of it on with just my fingers. No, 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 no eye primer, nothing at all. I have no foundation on, but oh well. Wow. This is beautiful. I really like this already. I like the texture to it. I like the color to it. Normally, I'm a very lots of color kind of girl. But this is beautiful. What do you guys think? Can you guys see it? I really like that colour. Wow. Quickly, let's put... I'm going to put this on the other side. Wow. I really like this color. Look, I actually really like the lip liner that came with the box. I like the um beautiful um eyeshadow. This is it's called Penny. I'm really really liking that. That's a really nice. So I'll show you on my finger how much pigment it still has on there. Really pigmented. I really like this. This is you, you know what? <laughs> I know it's somewhere over there. And it's, I know it's summer over there, but these colors at the moment are making me feel very wintry colors. I'm actually really impressed with this. You know what? All I have to do is go get one of my brushes and just um, create, uh, just move it up a little bit and smoke it out and then put, you know, um, highlighter on and put some my foundation and blush and I'm ready to go out. I'm really happy. I, I, even though we, we, have, we have received, oh, there goes my worms even though we have received in the past brown um eyeliners that's okay because i could just use that like this box is really good because you can turn into a look and it always states that each box you can create one look with it and look how beautiful this look is so even though there's a few products that are in there that i don't enjoy it's still a lot better box than other boxes that i've received in the past from other um companies so I hope you enjoyed my unboxing. I'm really happy with it. I'll actually write um on the bottom um how much in total everything was. Um and the awesome thing about it is this time it's come in June. My June box has arrived in June. First of all, that's a really good plus. And the second thing of all, it's actually beaten one of oh, excuse me. It actually has beaten one of our Australian um boxes. I'm still waiting for my lip factory. Uh, not lip factory. This is lip factory. I'm still waiting for my last habit. Um, thank goodness it's going to be one of my last ones. Um, since my last month with um with um last habit, and I'm not joining up with them again. I've heard lots of people having problems with Bella Box. Um, so even though, okay, 
even though there's some really shitty products in this um, box, it's not as shitty and as bad as other other boxes. They I can still be used. Like even with this one, I can just easily give it to a friend, you know, or which I'm not because I want to keep it. Or with the eyeliner, I can give it to a friend who has a 12 year old daughter, or I can put it in as a present, etc. So, or I can have, leave it for emergencies. So the things that you can definitely use. Um, but yeah, um, so I hope you like my unboxing. I'm really happy I didn't have any makeup on so that I could try some of these up. Um, so I'm really excited because next month is July and it's um, their birthday. Yay! I love birthdays because normally they give out, you know, most boxes give out special stuff. So thank you for watching. Have a lovely night and leave comments down the bottom. And if you want to contact me, it's all down on the bottom. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.